Hello, a warm good morning to you, my dear children. Today we are discussing about the distributive property of integers. Also, we are discussing about how to divide the integers. Okay, and first of all, we are discussing about distributive property of integers. Okay, just look at. If A, B, C are any three integers, then distributive property states that that means if A, B, C are any three integers uh, uh, like that one, two, three, four, etc. Negative one, okay, negative one, negative two, negative three, etc. We can take any number and uh, if we take the numbers and uh, we multiply the first number with the sum of other two numbers, that means. A into B plus C. That means in this case we have two operations together: multiplication operation and addition operation. In the case of that means if we get any question with two operations, first one is multiplication and next one is addition. You can multiply by splitting the numbers. That is A into B plus C equal to A into B plus A into C. Okay, dears. So it is the first important rule: a into b plus c equal to a into b plus a into c. And here, a into b plus a into c equal to a into b plus c. That means if we get multiplication and addition uh, operation together in three numbers, we can change the numbers into two set. Okay, you just uh, mention this one. Uh, here a and here also a. Look at here a is common and a into b plus c equal to a into b here and a here a into c. Okay. One more thing is there a into b minus c. Students, a into b minus c means if you get three numbers for multiplication and subtraction together. First, you subtract the two numbers and they multiply the uh, answer with another number. That means a into b minus c equal to a into b minus a into c. If here also you can split the numbers into a into b and a into c. That means a into into b minus a into c these two rules are very important you should understand it and by heart it okay students we can familiar with these uh, rules uh, using some examples okay first one you just look at my question is minus 2 into 3 plus minus 2 into 5 this is of the form a into b plus a into c am i right Okay, and we have to change this set into this set. That means here in the two set A is common. So we can take out A as common and put the bracket for other two numbers. Okay, then here which number is common in both set? Ah, you know minus. Okay, minus 2 is the common number in this set and in this set so we can out we can take out minus 2 as common number and we can put the multiplication sign and put the bracket then you write the another two numbers in the bracket that means here 3 and here 5 so it is 3 plus 5 so the answer is minus 2 into 3 plus 5 become 8 minus 2 into 8 we already know 2 into 8 become 16 minus 2 into become minus 16 okay students we are going to familiar with one more questions okay it is minus 4 into 2 plus minus 4 into 7 okay here which number is common you just think Okay, minus 4 is common and we have to take out minus 4 as common number. We have to take out minus 4 and put a multiplication sign and put the bracket also. Then you write which are the numbers remaining here. Here 2 and here 7. So, in the bracket you 
So in the bracket you can write 2 plus 7 that means minus 4 into 9 that means minus 36 okay. We know 2 plus 7 equal to 9 and a minus 4 into 9 become minus 36 okay. One more question you look at minus 8 into minus 2 plus minus 8 into minus 1 which is the common number here. Okay, minus 8 is the common number and you take out the common number and put the bracket, put the multiplication sign, put the bracket. And write down the two numbers, two numbers that is minus 2 and minus 1. So, minus 8 into minus 2 plus minus 1, okay. And this is of the form minus 8 into minus 2 plus minus 1. It is case 3, okay. It is case 3. So, you change these two signs into negative sign. At that time, this becomes minus 2 minus 1. Minus 2 minus 1 becomes case 2, is it? And the answer is minus 3. So, minus 8 into minus 3 becomes plus 24 these two minus become plus and 8 into 3 become 24 okay same like that we have two questions to do you just look at and you uh, try to write down try to do dear children next we are discussing about the division of integers before discussing division of integers we have to understand some rules that means if we divide a negative number with a positive number, the answer becomes negative. And if we divide a positive number with a negative number, the answer becomes negative. And if we divide a negative number with another negative number, the answer becomes positive. And if we divide a positive number, become uh, sorry, positive number and positive number, the answer becomes positive. Okay, this is same as multiplication. So, dears, we have to finalize this one through some examples, okay? First question you look at, minus 12 divided by 2. We can write this minus 12 divided by 2 as minus 12 by 2, okay? This division become this line, okay? And minus 12 become, uh, by 2 become minus 6. We know 12 by 2 become 6 and they put a negative sign, okay? And uh, minus 20 divided by 5 become minus 20 by 5 equal to minus 4. Minus 34 divided by 4 become minus 30. 2 divided by 4 equal to minus 8. Okay, like that you do all these questions.